say that I've only been with jazz. And I think as we grow, and I hate that I embarrassed her because no woman ever wants to admit that openly. Admit but what? I'm sorry, I want to make sure. That you. their person Jesus has not God always been not. with them. Only. So. Hey guys, welcome to Little Black Button 91. Listen, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's a bit tight still. It's a bit tight still. Look, we're talking to you guys about Jasmine Sullivan Brown. And I want to say this very, very clearly. Man, it, it, I want to say three words betrayal, delusion, denial. Betrayal, delusion, denial. What do these three words have in common with Jasmine Brown? Well, first and foremost, I want to let you know that betrayal is the action of betraying one's country or a group or a person or yourself. You are literally uh, doing actions that are contrary to what your beliefs are in this essence. Denial, the act of declaring something to be untrue, right? Okay, to deny something, okay? Or be in denial, meaning that you are, again, doing an action that is contrary to what you are saying or believing. Delusion, a false belief or judgment about an external reality, again, doing an action that is incongruent with your beliefs and your values. Let's read a little statement here by Jasmine Sullivan. That's a Jasmine Brown, sorry, I keep saying Sullivan. Uh, what she said, she said, child, here come the just checking on you DMs. I am fine. Trust me, I know who and what my nigga is. Ain't no secrets or surprises. He can talk to me about anything. Now I wanna be very, very clear that she had, that Cam Newton said the very same thing, that they can talk about anything. And so in some reality, I've said this in another video, this is some healthy relationship. But I want you to pay attention to the wording here as well. And the reason why I use those three words about denial, betrayal, and delusion is because many of us have been in this position, right? You've been in a relationship that you were in denial about the actual truth of what was happening to you in that relationship. You were in a state of delusion where the reality of the person's behavior was not congruent with somebody who really, really loved you or cared about you. You've been in relationships where you've betrayed your own values. You told yourself, I would never do this or would never allow someone to mistreat me this way, but you stayed in a relationship where that person was doing the very same things you said you shouldn't do. Many of us have been in that relationship and the reason why we are in those relationships is because we are wounded we are hurt deep down in the core and one of the biggest things about Jasmine Brown is that she actually preached about these type of women but the reality is some of us many of us have done things that are incongruent with what we said because it's not always easy to do exactly as you said and the thing that stops you from doing exactly what you said is usually a wound it is usually some form of pain or trauma that you've gone through that will make it difficult to make it incon to make it, to make your action incongruent to your actual words. Many of us have good wisdom and good understanding and good knowledge, but putting that into practice can be very difficult because life circumstances happen. Here's one of them. Jasmine Brown is a woman, very beautiful, very, uh, 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 you know, attractive woman, okay, can get a plethora of men. But what is she actually looking for? Well, probably some physical safety, financial safety, okay, someone who can not only take care of her, uh, you know, physically, but, uh, you know, financially, quote unquote, spiritually, mentally, all those aspects as well, right? But sometimes we're willing to trade in our emotional, even our sexual um, safety, right? In order to have financial safety and physical safety, a roof over our head and money in the bank and our, and our child that she's carrying, which is again, her role of being a mother, being protected by this person. So long as she's with Cam Newton, right? She is cared for and taken well of, right? And so she has, she has less stress in the world because most of our stress oftentimes comes from money, okay? And as a woman, I understand it, I get it, man. Do you know what I mean? As a man, looking at a woman in that perspective, I do understand it. But what we are trading off is our emotional safety. And the reason why that can happen is because we're carrying certain wounds. We've actually turned off our emotional safety before this relationship. You are disconnected before this relationship came into play. The relationship only further exasperated and exposed what was already there. Why do I say that? Because if you were emotionally connected and you valued your emotional safety, you wouldn't want to be in a relationship where your emotional safety is compromised and does not allow you to feel safe emotionally. Now, of course, we are having conversations about everything, but there's also this double bluff, which I'll, I'll do in another video on my Dark Arts channel. 
there's this dark, there's this double bluff, right? Or should I say this use of truth as a manipulation, right? The truth can be manipulating in the sense of what I mean by that is this. So I can tell you I'm for the, I'm, I'm for the trees. I'm, I'm all for, you know, having several women, et cetera, et cetera, right? And you'll fall in love with my honesty. She's like, you know what? At least he never lied to me. At least he told me that he's up front with the fact that he likes other women, et cetera, et cetera. But the reason, the question is, why would you want to be in that relationship with me knowing that I can't commit to you in a way that you want me to commit to you? Why is it, why would you, and we don't know for 100%, I don't know if she wants to necessarily be married. I think she's spoken about that in her previous videos, if I remember correctly though. Um, why would you want to accept less than what you actually wanted coming to the table? Why are you willing to bargain your necessities that you have for my little covering of physical and financial safety? Why, why, why would you want to give up your dreams of being married, taken care of in a monogamous relationship? Why would you want to give that up? Why would you fight for a love like this when I'm not giving you all that you actually potentially need? And it's because you are not in tune with your own needs and your own wants yourself, which is where the denial, the delusion and the betrayal comes in. Right now, look at the wording here, which is really powerful. She said in this thing here, I know who my nigger is. Sorry if he's not word, but it's right. Now it's interesting, she didn't use I know who my man is. Now someone might say, you know, some of us are from the ends or the hood, the ghetto, you know, uh the projects, whatever you want to call it. And so we might use the N-word to describe our man. I hear it, but it's the equivalent of saying this is my B. You know what I'm saying, you? And so when you say I know who my is, and I've heard her use the word man before, so it's interesting that we're going from man to the to, to, to N-word. Um Potentially, that could also de 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 denote the disassociation she's also actually happening with the relationship, right? Calling your man would mean that person's faithful, loving, caring, and you want them, and they want you, and it's just mutual interest. Calling him your negro kind of puts a little bit of disassociation, a little bit of a gap between you two. That's my negro. It's like, I don't want to put it almost like you're putting a label on it in a sense of, um, <clears throat> not belittling, but more of a case of, if I call him my N-word, then there's certain characteristics that go with being an N-word, right? There are certain characteristics, which I'm, and then if I call you that, I'm willing to accept that you are that. And so I'm willing to accept some of those behaviors that come along with the N-word. Whereas for me, it's like, I don't want to call my woman a B-word, regardless of whatever she behaves like. I don't want to do that. Why? Because I don't believe those characteristics fit you. And so there's, there may be a little bit of subconsciousness coming through with that wording of, I know who my N-word is, not my man is. Right. And so sometimes people can end up being a ride or die in a relationship because they themselves have not done the work to heal. So you can preach a good word, but the, the doing of it can be very difficult. I know how difficult it is. I know how hard it is. Sometimes we can be incongruent and it takes time to get to that place. But we also have to be honest and be ready for the dissolution and the dismantling of your denial and your betrayal and your delusion that you have in your world. The, the dismantling of your reality needs to happen. But sometimes there's so much more safety in the, the reality of not having to address the craziness that you're seeing in front of you. It's much easier to avoid what you're seeing in front of you than confront it. Because confronting would mean ruining the fantasy that you have built for yourself as a place of safety for yourself rather than dealing with what's in front of you. It can be very hard. Sometimes it's just nicer just to see. Not sometimes it's just nicer to be in a place where your fantasy exists. You ever been there before? That's how situationships really exist. Because a fantasy is much more safer than the reality, right? Zion is the reality, but when we look at it in, in a place of the matrix, before Neo gets, before Neo, before Morpheus exposes it to Neo, the matrix seems very cool. But until we get to a place where we see Zion for Zion, what it really is, it's not pretty. They're eating porridge. It's not nice. You see how old man went back to, I want to go back to my ignorant state, that, that happens to a lot of us. We'd rather go back to our ignorance, our delusion, our denial, and, and betrayal, because that is a much more safer place. It seems more prettier. So I'm not going to be too harsh on it. I understand where it's coming from, but it does give us a little bit of an idea of where Jasmine Brown is. She wants to stay in a delusion and a denial and a betrayal. Let her be in that place. It is what it is. Peace.